Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and spiritual insights for Monday the 20th of March through until Sunday the 26th of March. There's such huge energy as we move into this week ahead and as you may have realized or noticed, I have been a little off the grid. Um, having lost both of my parents within four months of each other has really given me the opportunity to take a step back and to really practice self-care and self-compassion and to take care of my emotional and energetic needs. And it was so interesting to me when I really got the nudge because, you know, I'm really connecting in and relying on spirit and my guides to lead me in this process. And I got the nudge today that it's time to step back into doing these weekly updates. And as I was having a look at what the energies were for the week ahead, I just thought, oh, of course, that makes perfect sense that they would actually have me do this at this time based on what we have coming up in this week ahead. So on the 20th of March, 20th, 21st of March, we have the autumn equinox here in the Southern Hemisphere and the spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. And so this is really bringing in some beautiful energy of balance and harmony, giving us an opportunity to kind of get our equilibrium back. And that's in honor of the equinox is equal hours of night and day. So this is where it's bringing in that desire and need. It's like a reset. It's like a reset for Mother Earth, a reset for ourselves to be able to ask ourselves, well, what does harmony and balance mean to me? Where do I need to bring or how can I bring some harmony and balance into my life? It's also been said and considered for a long time that the equinox, during the equinox, the veil between the dimensions is very thin and the energy grid of Mother Earth moves also into perfect harmony. And so what this is doing is it's actually offering us the opportunity to access, align and connect in with our higher selves. And so that can be done by setting the intention before going into meditation or journaling practice or being in nature that you are wanting to connect in with your higher self, you know, and a beautiful heart opening practice, you know, placing your hand on your heart, breathing into your heart center. And in doing so, so the hand on the chest is actually activating your heart chakra, your heart center and feeling the rise and fall of your chest beneath your hand with each breath that you take. And allowing all of your awareness to drop into your heart center. And it is my belief that through that heart connection, it opens the portal to not only your soul, but also your higher self expression. You know, your higher self expression, this is the difference between the ego mind and the higher self. The ego mind is going to pull you into a story of lack or um, anger or unworthiness, criticism, judgment. The, the ego mind does not traditionally provide a beautiful nurturing space. And when you connect with your higher self, it's a soft, gentle, voice or feeling or words, ideas of encouragement and love and compassion and understanding and acceptance of who you are. So that's how you differentiate between your ego mind and your higher self. So allow yourself to really soak up the energy that is, there's this fresh, 
new energy that is actually coming in this week. As we um, move into this week ahead, especially with the equinox and we have the Aries new moon and also the beginning of the Aries season, this is also considered the start of the astrological year. So there's all of this newness that is coming in and I can honestly say I'm feeling that energy. You know, I've really been feeling that my energy has been increasing and picking up. I feel like I, in some way, am, am just beginning to come out of the darkness. And for many of you, you may also be experiencing and feeling this also based on whatever is happening personally in your own life. With the new season that is coming, so for the Southern Hemisphere it is autumn and in the Northern Hemisphere it is spring. This is also reminding us of change, you know, as it's renewal, it's creative, it's balance. And so this is really a powerful time during this equinox to acknowledge where you are at and bring in some self-compassion for that. So self-compassion means not having judgment and even having compassion and gentleness and kindness for yourself if you are in judgment and not punishing yourself for that. Self-compassion is feeling the emotions that you're feeling and having a gentleness and an understanding for those emotions that you're experiencing. When you recognize the suffering in another person and there is a desire within you to do something to ease or alleviate their suffering and their pain, that is compassion. And if you can experience that for other people, then you are capable of experiencing it and, and showing that to yourself. This is a time to embrace where you're at, who you are, where you've been, what your journey is, and to also embrace your dreams and aspirations. You know, it's okay to dream, but it's also okay if it doesn't come in the time frame that you expect it to. I believe very, very deeply in divine timing. The universe will deliver for you at the exact right moment that you are ready to receive and ready to take action on. There are no planets or no major planets in retrograde during this week and especially as we move into the new moon. And so there is this, again, this strong forward moving motion of energy for getting things done and making progress. And you know, the season of Aries is definitely supporting and assisting us with that. So as we welcome in the season of Aries, the highlights for that are new beginnings, taking action, so that real fire energy, recharging yourself. It's so vital and so important that you are listening to the energetic and emotional needs and physical needs of your body. If you are being intuitively guided to recharge, don't put that off. Take time out. It might be half an hour in your day. It could be an hour. It could be a whole day. Take the time to listen and honor your body's needs. Release tension. How does that work for you? That may be a meditation, it could be going for a walk in nature, a swim, a massage, whatever it is. Ask yourself what it is that you, that serves you best in releasing tension and make sure that you put time aside to do that for yourself and stay motivated. So this is an interesting one. It's really difficult to stay motivated if you are lacking in energy, if you're totally exhausted. It, there's no motivation in that. So by practicing self-care and taking the time that you need and honoring those needs, then you will have the energy that you require to take action on what it is that you're wanting to co-create with the universe 
what it is that you're wanting to bring into your life. And as we move into this week also, so on the 22nd at 4.23 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, we the new moon in Aries peaks. And again, this is coming right after the, the equinox. So it's highly energized. So this is the first Aries new moon in March. So there are two Aries moons in March and that's even adding and amplifying to the intensity of the energy and the, the freshness and the opportunity to create change in your life. So all of the energy that we are having is, you know, contributed to the equinox, contributed to Aries season and the Aries new moon. And so it's carrying with it, this new moon is carrying with it high creative energy, which is allowing us to manifest and create. And the energy that's coming in this week is really setting us up for the rest of the year. Manifesting. Manifesting is really setting an intention, having a dream, a desire of what it is that you want to experience in your life. And so visualize seeing it, sensing it, tasting it, smelling it, hearing it. Hold that vision, that idea, that dream in your mind and your heart and allow yourself to step fully into that so that you can experience what you'll feel when you have that, what you'll see, what you'll hear, what you'll do. And that's something really that needs to be a daily practice. So this new moon, new beginnings, new energies, new freshness is really adding to the, the power of your intentions that you set under this new moon. But it only takes a few minutes every day or every evening to step into that vision that you are wanting to manifest and allow yourself to spend some time in how that feels when you have that. If there are changes that you've been wanting to make in your life, and let's be honest, we all have those moments. We all have those intuitive nudges that are coming through to us on the daily about what, what, it, what it is that needs to change. That could be your, something to do with your health. It could be something to do with your overall well-being. It could be something to do with your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, your spiritual well-being. What is it that your intuition is guiding you to make changes on? And under this new moon energy, get really honest with yourself. You know, imagine if you did make those changes. Imagine if it was easy to make those changes. Imagine if making those changes actually opened up more energetic flow and momentum in your life so that you could have new opportunities, new experiences, or that the experience that you're in right now improves. These are the seeds that you are planting under this new moon energy with all of this fresh energy. And the seeds that you are planting now, they all they require is your nurturing and your attention. The same as if we planted a seed in the garden, it requires nutrition, it requires watering, it requires sunlight. You are no different. You require the same on a emotional, physical, spiritual level, as well as what you're wanting to co-create with the universe requires for you to give it the love and attention that it deserves. So I hope that that serves you well. So I'm going to ask for a card from Carl Gray's deck. So I'm asking from an energetic space, what is it that we can do in this week ahead to support ourselves during the equinox, the new moon, and to make the most of the energies that are available? Oh, Lemurian seed codes, how beautiful is this? embracing sensitivity uniqueness and living with grace I love this this is so beautiful there's so much noise out in the world there are so many people out there doing so many things 
And often if we're not living a life that's in alignment with our highest good or with our integrity or what it is that we're wanting to do, our creativity, it's very easy to look outside of ourselves and compare. It's very easy to look outside of ourselves for validation, for recognition, for love, for understanding. And it's very easy to get lost in all of the noise. Being a sensitive is your superpower. It is through that sensitivity that you can actually tune into the needs of your body, that you can tune into your higher self and the veil is going to be very thin. That sensitivity allows you to have compassion for others and yourself. That sensitivity also allows you to know what it is that you need in this world, in this life. It's okay to be sensitive. It's okay to be different. It's okay to just be you without expectations, without judgment, without trying to fit in, without trying to please others. Just do you. The universe designed you the way that you are for the uniqueness and the individuality that you would contribute to the human collective. Honor that, embrace that. And living with grace, grace is such an undefined thing really. Living with grace is accepting who you are and where you're at and what you've done and where you're going. And loving yourself regardless of what you've done or where you've been or where you've come from. And remembering that there is a universal consciousness, a divine universal heart that wraps itself around you in all that you do. And it sees you as its greatest achievement because it is experiencing life and evolution through you. And that is such a miraculous gift. So I hope that that serves you well. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. And I hope that your week ahead is one filled with adventure and awakening really to the energies of life waking up to the brilliance of who you are, opening your heart to receive the inner guidance from your infinitely intelligent heart wisdom as well as your higher self. Have a great week. See you next week. Namaste. Blessed be.